Hello YouTube, my name is Sophia Metropolis and I have been feeling a little creatively deprived lately, a little uninspired if you will. I really have been struggling trying to tap into my creativity recently and I have seven pages left in my sketchbook. In attempts to tap back into my creativity, I have decided to challenge myself with a very small and bite-sized challenge, which is gonna be seven paintings in seven days using the same materials, which in this case is gonna be the Himi Mia gouache set from Amazon. I've reviewed this gouache set before and you can check that out here. Earlier in this sketchbook, I was really good about using my materials frequently and trying to make things frequently. And at this point it has been several weeks since I have regularly drawn in a sketchbook. So I want to try to tap back into that and kind of discipline myself a little bit more to create more. So we're doing seven paintings in seven days. I have a pretty high expectation for how I want these paintings to go, but I'm not going to really hold myself to that expectation. I want them to look nice, but I kind of get the sense that they're not going to come out the way that I want them to. So I'm only tasking myself with the fact that I have to put some paint on the page. There really isn't any other rule beyond that, but I've never challenged myself to work with the same materials for an extended period of time like that before. So I'm hoping that at least there's some sort of difficulty in it, even though there's only seven days of this challenge. That's pretty much all there is to it, so I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet and let's dive in. Okay. It's day one of this challenge. I think the last time I used this gouache was when I made the YouTube video about how it dries out, which at this point was at least three weeks ago. So it's actually been a really long time since I painted, and it was probably even a month since I painted before that. I actually had drawn the outline for this painting weeks ago, and I meant to paint it the next morning, but I just never sat down and painted it, so I lost the reference image. So I was definitely off to a rocky start because my shading was all over the place. I couldn't really decide where the light was coming from, but I ended up looking it up and finding a really similar image with similar lighting, and I ended up using that as my reference. I don't know why I chose green for her skin tone. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I think I was just trying to experiment a little bit, but I, I just don't know about the green. I definitely feel really rusty with this whole process, but I feel like I resolved it to a point where it's not horrible. It's not my best work, but I do kind of lean into this style of portraiture a lot, and I wish I had branched out a little bit more because this is kind of a comfortable place for me to be working, but at this point I'm just trying to brush off some cobwebs and get back into the swing of things, so I think it's okay for me to be working comfortably. The one thing I forgot about this paint is how weird and inconsistent it can be with the texture. I do really like how the paint goes down when it has the right tackiness and like wetness to it, but it definitely takes a bit of a learning curve to figure out how much water that is without it being washed out and kind of reducing the opacity of the paint. The other thing I forgot about gouache is that you have to put it down really evenly for it to not look streaky, which is kind of hard to do with this paint. But hopefully things will improve as this week goes on and I'll get more comfortable. I was able to salvage this painting to the point where I don't hate it, even though it's not my strongest painting, but we're just keeping things loose for this week. It is day two. I put my painting off for pretty much the entire day and I forgot about it until like 11.30 p.m. And I was sitting on the couch with my dad and I asked him what I should paint and he said, why don't you paint a portrait of me? <laughs> I didn't want to do another portrait because I had done a portrait yesterday, but my living room is really colorful and full of stuff, and spatial work is definitely not my strong suit, so I figured this would be a good little mini challenge within my challenge. So I took a picture of him and I got to work on that. There are so many ridiculous details in my living room, so, so I went into this painting knowing I wasn't going to do all the little details just because it would be so time consuming and I'm trying to keep these relatively brief, like within an hour or two, but I did notice that I keep kind of gravitating back to the same colors. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done any kind of art challenge like this, or if there's any ones that you really like and you think I should try. I would be willing to do more art challenges. I feel like this has been a good challenge. I mean, it's actually been just that, like it has been challenging, which is the kind of thing that I haven't really tasked myself to do since I graduated college, so it's fun to like make it kind of hard, but since I started so late and this took an hour and a half, it is currently 1.15, so I am going to bed. I finished this. I feel accomplished. I'm exhausted. See you tomorrow. Day three. Once again, 
I went into this drawing with no ideas, but I guess that is the point of this exercise, is to kind of push myself through that struggle. I ended up going back to one of my daily carry notebooks and pulled out a drawing that I did while I was actually driving in my car when I lived in California. I was stopped at a stop sign and this girl rode past on her bike reading a book at the same time. So I thought that was an adorable image and so I wanted to recreate it in a paint and like kind of colorize it. But to be honest, yeah, I don't love it. Do I wish I did a better job? Yes. But do I care? No. The whole point of this process is to kind of just lean into making stuff again and like not be so critical about the quality of that stuff and the purpose of this is for sketch work and to kind of get the creative juices flowing again. It's not to create masterpieces that I'm going to sell or you know really anything beyond that and I usually work with references so this was a really interesting challenge for me for my reference to have been like a 30 second sketch that I had done over a year ago. I've been trying to do odd body sketches where I play with proportions and I kind of was trying to do that with this but I didn't commit to it not even nearly enough. It's like her head is out of proportion and then everything else is just kind of weird looking and I feel like I really busted her face so but you know what again the point of this is just to play with everything you know just to get back in the groove of like having fun and the challenge here is the material is the consistency of the material and to see what I make with every material it's not to like make these beautiful things so we'll see how the rest of the week goes day four I managed to do my day four painting at a reasonable hour, and by that I mean I started at 10.30 p.m. Once again, I had no ideas, but I went into it thinking that I would try to use some colors that I haven't been using in this week, or really in this palette in general, which seems to be the yellows, which I am pretty surprised by because I really love yellow as a color, but I feel like the yellows on this palette are kind of interesting hues. So I wanted to make like a bold graphic image but I, once again, did not really plan it out, and I feel like it came out kind of ridiculous. So I just did these light bulbs, because I've been having issues with my light bulbs, where all of the light has been banding on my camera, which you can see here, which I seem to have figured out how to resolve, but regardless. I think it's cute, but I don't think it's any good, but that's okay. I feel like painting late at night and also just the fourth day of painting after not painting for, I don't know, two months, We'll see what the next three days look like. Day five of my seven paintings in seven days with the Himi gouache. I once again did not have any inspiration. I thought about doing some plants or something, but then I decided to try to do some anatomy work. So I went on to Kroki Cafe and I found a pose that I really liked. But I looked at this pose and I realized that it reminded me of Lizzo's album cover. So instead, <laughs> I decided to do Lizzo's album cover. The colors in that album cover are so striking, so I wanted to try and really focus on her skin tone and kind of the gradient between the shadows and the highlights of her skin tone. And I wasn't gonna do her face originally just because I feel like the detail in doing the face at that small with my brush situation that I have wasn't really what I was feeling, but I went for the face anyway and I messed it up. So it just, it the whole thing, I'm sorry I messed your face up, Lizzo. I'm satisfied with this. I'm more satisfied with this than I have been with other things this week so far, but I really feel bad about the face. But you know, that's what happens. And I opted to not fill the page with the rest of the really dark navy that is on the album cover because I just don't want to use that much paint and it would completely cover the page with that paint. So I just did the bottom. Day six of this challenge was actually the first day that I had some fun. While I once again waited until the very last hour of the evening to do this painting, I actually had worked with markers earlier in the day today, so I, I pretty much recreated exactly what I made with markers, but just in the paint. So I played with some plant shapes and a couple planters and some leaves and some just just some plants. I don't know. It sometimes it just feels nice to just paint plants with no strings attached and they can just look nice because 
their nature and they're beautiful and they just don't have to be really detailed and extensive. So this one was more about kind of playing with greens and yellows and some color palette play. And this felt like kind of the loosest that it has been all week, but it's definitely been a challenge to work with the same materials every day this week. That has so far been the hardest part because usually I would go in with pen or go in with marker and, you know, do outline work or I, I don't know. I, I don't usually do detail work with paint kind of at all, especially not in my sketchbook. So, and I've just been trying to stick to just the gouache set and not use any markers and not use any anything else. So not even go in with Posca and do an outline or anything like that. So in that sense, it has definitely been really outside of my comfort zone, but I feel like today was the first day that I was like a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more, you know, expressive with my work. My brush control feels like it's getting a little bit better. So I feel like six days is we're in a good path, you know. Day seven, my dudes, we made it. It is the final day of my seven days, seven paintings challenge. And today I went into this with a different approach. I wanted to, for the first time this week, focus on composition. So first I thought it would be interesting to do a hand study, but then I wanted something a little bit more than just a page full of hands. And recently I've been trying to stay off social media and kind of manage my addiction to my phone. So I thought it would be interesting to like have all these hands reaching towards the phone that has this kind of endless void within it. So I feel like this painting actually did that well. I don't love the color scheme so much, but I feel like in general, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. So I kind of feel like as a challenge, this was really successful. I, I feel like it was just the right amount of hard. I think if it was any longer, I would start to get really frustrated, even though I would probably start to lean into it a little bit more. I feel like this was just a good, accomplishable length of time. Like seven days, I was able to do it. And even though I didn't work on any of these paintings until like midnight, and I was working into the wee hours of the morning, I feel like it went really well. So I'm happy with how it came out. I will be releasing a sketchbook tour video of this sketchbook because this was actually the last page of my sketchbook so I'm really excited to have finished it. It took almost a year for me to finish it. But keep your eyes peeled for that video. It will be coming in the next week or two maybe. So if you've made it this far in this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I really would appreciate it and I would be happy to have you here if you're listening right now. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sophia Metropolis and I will see you in the next one. Bye!